true that every crazy plan starts from a phone call from a mate. Now, I had Easy call me up a week and a half ago, said the boys and I are going on a camping trip. Do you want to come? So after consulting the boss, uh, I said, yes, that's great. I'll go out and buy a swag for the camping trip. But then the weekend was changed, which is fine, but it just meant that I couldn't go. But I'd already purchased the swag uh, and I'd already wanted to purchase one anyway because I want to do some motorcycle camping trips, uh, whether it be with a group of people or on my own, I don't mind. So I went out on the hunt for a swag and surprise, surprise, during COVID, all of the camping shops are almost sold out of all the good quality stuff and they've only got the crap stuff left. I was lucky to find this. It's a Darchi Dirty D 900. Now it's not Dirty D's like our, our mate on YouTube from the States. It's Dirty D 900. Now the 900 means the width. You could get it in a 900, which is a single, an 1100, which is a king single, and then I think it's a 1400 for a double. Now, the reason why I chose the smallest one, the 900, was I wanted it to be as compact as possible to be able to strap it to the Harley and to safely ride down the freeway without it being too wide. I know some people strap them vertically on sissy bars, but with the street glider already being wide, I figured that it was gonna to be totally fine just to strap it across ways and the width will be totally fine. We will find out at the end of this video whether it fits on the bike or not. Now, the Darchi Dirty D 900 looks like a pretty comprehensive little um, bloody, what's it called, a swag. It looks like a comprehensive swag. And to be honest, it might be a little bit of overkill for the needs that I want, but it's the one that was available. Uh, it's the one that I grabbed and well, I'm excited. Anyway, let's get this over into the backyard. Let's set it up, have a look at it, find out how easy it is to set up, find out how easy it is to fold down, and uh, will it fit on the Harley, or will it be an absolute waste of money? Anyway, let's go and give it a go. set up in the backyard it's a sunny day it's hot i'm already hot so by the time i've set this up i'm going to be absolutely boiling the dogs might visit throughout the video but let's rip in pull this out of its container try and set it up see what it's like and eh, who knows where this video is going to go right quite a substantial carry bag by the looks of it As a mariner, it drives me absolutely nuts when people tie inappropriate knots that tighten on themselves and they're almost impossible to get them off without cutting them. Man, if you're playing with ropes, learn how to tie proper knots. Darche Australia, this is what I think of your bloody knots, man. Get people to tie knots properly. I hope it's not a sign of things to come. All right, so this is the foam mattress and it's been vacuum packed for ease of uh, transport, of course. So the instructions for this are to open it up and leave it out for up to 12 hours before use. So if you're planning on buying one of these, just make sure you've allowed enough time to, uh, to set it up and let your mattress set itself for 12 hours before you use it. So let's set this aside for the moment and work on the rest. So we've got a groovy little uh, tent bag here, or tent peg bag. With the appropriate ground spikes that you might need, 
during your trip. We've got the cross member poles that's going to hold it up. And obviously we've got all of the hoops to keep it up and off you. So let's put it all together and see how we go. Well, there you go, that was really easy to set up. Uh, probably took, you know what, I should have timed it, but I'm assuming it took me about three minutes, maybe four minutes max, and that's the first time I've done it. It'll only get quicker and easier from there, but it's pretty sturdy, nice stabilizing beams through here to keep it upright without having to tether it to the ground. Um, quick release, uh, the hoops threaded through nice and easy, and, um, yeah, look, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's a, it's a great little thing. Let's have a look at all the ventilation. Look, as you can see, guys, there's heaps of ventilation on this thing. There's uh, a screen there, same on the other side, with flaps that close down to protect you from bad weather. At the foot level, there is an awning as well as a screen. At the head level, there is also an awning and a screen. Obviously, the main entrance is on both sides with the flight drop down fly screen that zips up as well as the main flap zipping up. Walk straight through. Inside the tent, there is a storage at the head. There's also a storage at the feet. So for your mobile phones or chargers or whatever it might be, you can put in there and uh, yeah, look, I'm really happy. The Darche Dirty D 900, remembering 900 is the width, 900 mils. Now, what I need to do is roll it up, pack it down, and see how it fits on the Harley. But this is a to be continued because I have to wait for that mattress to be inflated for 12 hours before I put it back in. Anyway, let's go and have about 10 beers, and in 12 hours, I'll come back and put it away. Well, it's surprisingly comfortable in here, actually. This is the first swag that I've had. Well, I've had swags years ago when they were just a canvas sleeping bag, I guess. Whereas these modern day swags are more like a, a mini tent. And um, with this 70 mil mattress and, uh, and the structure, freestanding as well. I haven't tied anything down. And yeah, it's an absolute ripper. I'm so excited. In fact, I can't wait to go away and uh, give this a good little run in. I'm five feet 10, my head's right at the top of the, of the swag. And as you can see, I've got plenty of leg space down there. There'll be more space for my boots and my bags and all that sort of stuff down there as well to get them out of the weather. So, and it's still really hot uh, here. Um, and I'm quite comfortable in here in the shade, really nice. And now looking from the feet all the way to the front, the top of the head, and the open doors on each side. It's really nice. What a cracker. Darcho, you might not be able to tie ropes, but you can build a really good bloody swag. Swag's approved by Holly. What do you reckon, mate? Hey. All right, so now it's been tested by me. It's been tested by my dogs. And big thumbs up from all of us so far. So I've got to now pack it away, roll it up, and see how it fits on the back of the Harley. Well, there you go. Other than the fact that I didn't have the straps laid out underneath properly, uh, rookie mistake, that rolls up really good, very efficient. The mattress is in it and uh, it's really handleable. 
Now, I will probably transport it on my bike like this without the bag, but I'm gonna try the carry bag anyway, just cause you guys are watching. Well, that was pretty bloody easy. The bag is a nice loose fit. You know, I've just got the swag and the mattress in there right now. There's still some poles going. They take up hardly any room. You can see all the space that's in here. What a good setup. Dutch ADD's 900. So far, big thumbs up from throttle down under. Uh, now I've just got to go for a weekend camping and really give it a test run. Anyway, before you run away, let's throw it on the Harley, see how it fits, and then we'll go. So you just have to excuse the mess in the garage. Obviously it's just a normal garage, even though one little corner is off in my studio. But, ah, here we go. Look, so I assume that the way that I would set up this on the bike now, I'll probably do a few trial runs first, just some neighborhood runs, just to make sure I like how it sits. But I have a feeling I'll probably do it like this, uh, across the bike. As you can see, it just comes out a little bit further from the panniers, but it, it won't make a massive amount of wind resistance difference, I wouldn't think. Um, it's right onto my back, and in fact, probably while I'm sitting in the saddle, that'll be a nice back support. Um, I don't think it'll be uh, inhibitive at all. I think it'll actually help me to have a more comfortable ride. And then obviously, we've still got access to the hard panniers to get things in and out of and put a little uh, luggage rack on the back as well so I can put my, maybe my camera gear in another container. So look, uh, if you've watched this far, thank you for sticking around. Uh, so far, I'm really happy. The next test will be going away for a weekend with it, seeing how it is to live with. And then of course, getting stuck in wild weather and seeing how weatherproof it is. But I'm excited, I'm happy. Um, in my mind, it's been money well spent. And the 900 is perfect. If I had the 1100 or the 1400, way too big for my needs. Uh, perhaps if you're four wheel driving or even traveling in a car, it wouldn't be so bad. But being on two wheels, uh, you've got to be a little bit thoughtful and a little bit compact too. Anyway guys, Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you out in the bush. See ya.